All right, guys. Someone's died instantly. Instantly. 17 people remain. Wow. All right, that shook me up a bit. I was literally just about to do my intro. Nerd's still in my boy Nerdgasm. Get out of here, creepy. Get out of here. Whoa. You parkour creeper? What are you doing? All right, so I actually want to do a test. Uh, kind of a test for my UHC audience. Because obviously, like... When it comes to YouTube, you have a set audience for different games. Like, I uploaded CSGO today, and I can imagine that the uh, slightly younger side of the Minecraft community who don't have any interest in CSGO will not be watching that. Um, I, want you to, I want you to put down in the comment section your age. Not, not, like, your exact age, like, your age range. So, say you're 13 to 18. Somebody will comment 13 to 18, and if you fit into that category... Thumb up that comment. Don't bother commenting it again. Just just thumb up that comment so I can see. And then hopefully we'll have like a set range. So like we can have like 13 to 18 and then 13 and below. So like less less than 13 or 12 or below. And then 13 to 18 and then uh, 19 to 24 and then 25 plus. I think I've got a couple of 25 plus viewers but uh, I can't be too sure. It's always hard to tell. It would just be cool to get like an idea of who's uh, who's watching my UHCs, because then I could potentially change up like the style of commentary, and you guys might just enjoy it that little bit more. So I don't know. I'm just looking out for you guys right here. All right, we should have an anvil in a second. We still have those bad legs though, so we need seven more iron. There's some down here. I think I'm gonna go up to the surface after this. I don't have the best enchants, but we have the books to work with. We do have a fair few gapples, so. It's always a nice thing. All right, let's get these pants made. Come on. Prot 2, finally, there it is. So we're Prot 2, Prot 2, Projectile Protection, Prot 2. That's good. We have a fair, a fair like, section of projectile protection, which is always nice to have in a UHC, because obviously people are going to have bows, which I have not acquired yet. Uh, we're going to come across people with swords, obviously, and I'm going to have to engage in sword combat, so that protection... That extra protection that I have on the other pieces is always going to be beneficial. Just hoping that this stuff will smelt faster. While I'm at it, let's actually enchant these books. Protection 2. Sharpness 2. Alright, wonderful. So we're going to have a sharp 4 sword and a protection 4 diamond boots. I feel like that's a good thing to have. Protection 4 diamond boots will be very beneficial because I'm pretty sure a friend of mine told me that diamond unenchanted armor is the equivalent of prot 3 iron so i'm hoping that it will be beneficial to us to have such enchants do i have enough iron 31 there we go i thought i had enough so let's get that on the boots first of all protection three. Oh, of course of course that's my bad protection three is still really good though and then Sharpness 3 Iron Sword is always going to be good as well. Let's enchant another book. Sharp 2 and Sharp 2. So we can combine those and we're going to have a Sharp 4 Sword. Alright, that's looking pretty decent. We're going to have to work on getting some levels actually really quick before we do leave the cave. So maybe... Did I already pick off all of the redstone, do you think? Yeah, I think I, think I might have. Let's head out, honestly. Let's head out. Let's see what we can do. Let's see if we can get some kills. Get out of here, skeleton. Don't shoot at me. Do not. I've warned you. Alright, so this is where we need to get out of this cave. Alright, skeleton, get out of here, man. Alright, taking a half a heart is perfectly fine, in all honesty. Just can't be dealing with getting sniped off of something like that. That's dead. What are you? Are you serious? Why can I not hit you? Little scallywag. All right, let's surface. What's around here? Any cows? No. We're gonna kill the animals for levels. In a sense, I don't feel too OP. Since this is OP UHC, like, I really don't feel all that OP, which kind of might not be a good thing, but, um, 
We got this stuff right here. We have one arrow. We need blocks. All right, let's actually work on that just a sec here. We need at least a stack of 64. Go on, F5 while we do this, just to broaden our vision and see what we can see around us. Nothing, nothing but like in particular right now. Nothing too special. 64, there it is. All right, now let's make a move. Let's see what we can do. Hopefully we can combat someone that doesn't have a rod as well. If they do, then I'm running. If they do, then I will be out of there quicker than you can say margarine. Actually, quicker than you can type margarine in the comment section, rather. All right, 12 minutes left of this episode. How are we going to go about doing this? I say we go float around 0-0 zero, zero a little bit. We don't really have levels to do much combining. But if we can find someone that just happens to be unenchanted for whatever reason, then we can actually go into a fight with them. Make sure we drop into a too deep pool of water because we don't want a repeat of last season. And I actually really want to touch on that subject a little bit. Uh, last season got a lot of um, like comments about whether I should have died or not. And people said that I missed the pool. People said that I landed in it, but you can die if you land in one block of water. Like, no, that's not the case. I didn't miss the pool. And you can survive a fall into water into two pixels of water, two pixels. So like when it's floating and it's flow the full nine blocks, you can land in the end blocks and still survive. So the whole reason that I died last season wasn't due to me like missing or not being able to fall into said like pool of water. Like I wouldn't have done it if I knew that I was gonna die from it, you know? Um, but yeah, like the whole reason that I died was because outside of my view because there's like considerable like server lag like I was on a hundred and something ping at the time uh, that means that I was actually a block ahead of myself when I jumped so my player um, where it was standing was already hanging over the edge of the map so whenever I jumped I jumped and then you'll see a split second before I die my character teleports forwards, and that's when my player realigned with its actual player model. So, I don't know, it was considered like an unfair death, but it was too close to the end of the season to even like warrant me caring. Like, I really wasn't bothered at that point. Like, I was out, I wasn't gonna complain and try to come back in when there was already extra fights going on at 0-0, zero, zero, if that makes any sense. I wonder how many levels it will take to actually put these onto something. I need better food as well, because I'm going to run out. To put these together, it costs three. Now, in that case, let's just enchant these last two. Brought two. Brought two. Perfect. No bad enchants on the books this season. So far, we've just had bad enchants on our pants. Every single time. Just being silent right here while I rearrange my inventory, because I don't want to get sneaked up on at all. It's going to nighttime, so I can't see a reason for anybody to actually be out on the surface unless they're like me and they're looking for kills. So, I don't know. It might be a good idea to actually head under, but it's uh, it's fourth episode. Don't really don't really see a point in doing such a thing. Oh, I have the Dora theme song stuck in my head as well. I'm actually in some pretty open ground right here. Like I can escape that way. I can't swim that way. I can escape that way, and I can escape that way. Judging on if anybody does spot me. So, we should be fine for now. I've got two pieces of diamond armor, which is neat. But I can imagine if anybody else found diamonds, they were getting just as much as I was. So, I wouldn't consider this too good right now. Alright. Eight minutes left of this episode. What are our coordinates? Coordinates. We're still a thousand out, so we're gonna run in about 200 blocks that way, and hopefully we can pick up a kill along the way, or at least spot somebody that we can go in on. I don't want to come across anybody with a bow or a fishing rod because I didn't manage to get one. Right now is prime time for like spider hunting, so it could be a good idea for me to actually try and get some close to the border because I can't imagine anybody else is gonna be here. It's also kind of annoying not knowing. Wait, it's episode 3 right now. What? 
I thought it was episode four. End of episode two. End of episode three. See? End of episode three. Right here. So surely it's it's episode four, but on the right it says episode three. What episode are we on? Oh my god, I'm stuck in like this space-time continuum or some something. I've gone back in time. And my enchants are gone, and everything else is just going wrong around me. The world is turning into a zombie apocalypse as we speak. Oh man, it's just not good. It's just not good to be out here right now. Got the Dora theme song stuck in my head, so that's not good at all. <sighs> oh, let's get the rest of our stuff. Chicken, chicken, chicken. There we go. We don't have any wood. I'm actually just gonna take this for the sake of it. We might need arrows. I'm gonna mine this tree. Let's take this tree. This one right here. Hey. Hey, you. What's up? Come on, tree. Might have been more beneficial to actually craft an axe. I keep on doing that breathing in thing. That's my, that's my thinking breathe. I'll go... Like that when I'm trying to think of what I want to do or say next. It's just kinda it's kinda odd, but uh it helps me. It helps me. It's like uh it calms me. It really feels like I have my gamma up, but I don't. Which is odd, because if you notice in the caves, like it was dark. But right now it seems light out. Hopefully there's some spiders over this way. I'm just gonna head to the border to look for spiders and then we'll head back. Afterwards, could have parkoured my way along that as well, but I guess things happen. Oh my god! Did not want to take damage right there, but I, I I managed not to. So, and I've also learned that block hitting is uh, very. It's similar to a strategy in PvP called W W tapping, because um. It kind of watch it, watch that it like pulses the screen in and out. So that allows you to like it. It kind of resets your sprint in a sense. If you hold sprint down every single time you go in, it allows you to hit a new combo. I'm pretty sure that's how it works. Someone will probably correct me in the comment section, but that's that's how I've uh, somewhat learned that it works. String no. Come on, spiders. Ma, ma, oh spiders, where you at, bro? Where you at, my friends? Ma, shut up, will you, chicken? Chicken, chicken, chicken. <laughs> oh my god, that was a sheep, not a chicken. What are we talking about? See, I thought that was a chicken, but it wasn't. Oh, there has to be some spiders up this way. There has to be. I need spiders. Like, I need a fishing rod. Honestly, at this point, I'm kind of... Actually, no, I shouldn't prioritize a fishing rod over a bow. Bow comes first. I think in this biome right here, I should be good to get some gravel. Some surface gravel. Uh, yeah, there's some right here. So I might actually stop for a second, smelt some stuff up. Oh, of course. Smell some stuff up. Go for some. Uh, go for some extra food, and some spiders. Cause like we're coming, we're on zero. We're zero on one of our coordinates, which I don't want to be dealing with. Like that's it's too close for comfort for me. So yeah, let's get some arrows made, honestly. Let's get some arrows. Oh boy. Spider and a skeleton. Surface gravel right here. Let's do it right here. Alright. Crafting bench. Do we have any iron? No, we do not. Wonderful. Do we have any cobble? Yes, we do. Alright. And then we want to put down our... S furnaces, not smelting units. Furnaces, Will. Furnaces. And then food. There we go. 
There we go. There we go. And there we go. Oh, let's situate my inventory a little bit. Get rid of that. We have string one arrow. Where is this stuff that we wanted? Right here. Okay. Stay away from that creeper. Don't let it aggro on us. Of course it's going to. So as a skeleton, we need to knock you off the hill before you can shoot. Of course not, but you missed anyway. Did you drop us a bow? No. Could have swore it dropped us a bow. Oh, that would have been beautiful. Beautiful. That's a thought. I might actually head over to the next present and see if we can find someone to fight. Obviously, Isaac looks like he's going for it, and he's like, he's the closest to me, so... In, in like ping wise and kind of skill wise, so I think I could potentially take him, but knowing him, he's probably got a rod. Just taking a look around. doing too good with gravel honestly i really wish even though like a season isn't cut clean i really wish flint rates were 100 percent because honestly i think at this point nobody likes watching gravel be in mind and a gg somebody is dead how many people are left 16 out of 24 i think there was only like 20 people in the season or 21 people in the season so there is, what, 21 minus 5, 5 people dead. Actually, no, there has to be more than that, I think. I think there's like 7 people dead, 7 people dead, 5, 8, 8 people dead. 8 people? I don't know, man. I suck at math. Obviously, by proved by earlier, I'm the worst at math. 13 flint, let's see. It gets us 35 arrows. That's not too bad. We can keep going a little bit. Kind of want a stack, like, ideally. I keep on thinking that I'm hearing somebody else step. That's why I'm being so cautious and looking around often, because it's not worth getting snuck up on, especially in an OP season. Oh, to make it OP, they should have done double arrows, too. I should have suggested that, but I obviously forgot. And uh, yeah, present spawning, that was, uh, that was an idea straight off the top of my head. And I've been too scared to even go and attempt to getting one. Kind of because they're too far away and it's not worth me running that far just yet. But that's the end of episode 4. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like. No, that's the end of episode... Is it episode 4 or episode... Who knows, man. The timer is all all out of whack, I think. Because, like, it says it's episode 4 now, but episode 4 just ended. So, who knows what's up. But, yeah, leave a like if you did enjoy. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Uh, goodbye. Goodbye.